In this video, we'll demonstrate um, Action JavaScript to print PDF reports. So let's go and create a new uh, component. And we'll make it just of a DBF file. And we'll choose the uh, customer table. And uh, we'll choose some fields here. And now let's put a button that's going to print a report. I uh, will change the button label to print report. And now let's define the uh, JavaScript for this button. So we'll bring up Action JavaScript and we'll choose the open report action then let's go here and choose say the um, um, the invoice report and um, let's go here and uh, define a filter uh, we'll choose uh, customer ID is equal to and we'll choose the value of customer ID from the current uh, from the current row we'll click OK and um, we can see some of our other options or we could go for PDF, we could turn on watermarks, we could encrypt the PDF file if we wanted, uh, but we'll just leave all those options at, the, at their default values. So right now we can specify that this report should show in a pop-up window. It can be a modal window, a modeless window, or a drop-down window, um, and or it could display in a div. Uh, on the page so we'll just leave it as a pop-up modal window and then click OK uh, just type in some comment here uh, print report so there's our action that's been defined we can just right click and say view JavaScript if we want and see what the JavaScript is which we don't really need to bother with and let's just save it away and I'll just call it uh, demo1 and now let's uh, run this in Google Chrome. So you can see there's our button, and when we click um, the, um, the button, up props the report showing the invoice uh, for Michael Graham. If we then go to another record, say Jason Regan, and print report, there's the uh, report for Jason Regan. This window can be maximized by double-clicking on the title bar <coughs> or going back to the uh, um, the, the regular size so uh, you can see there that uh, it's very easy to put your PDF report into your component okay so now let's go back and instead of displaying the report uh, in a pop-up window let's put it in a, a div on the page so we'll go back here and uh, let's go back here and uh, we'll change this now from a from a window to a div and we'll give the div an ID called say rep1 and now let's go here and uh, and actually put a, a div called rep1 on the page so we'll go to the um, um, below grid the freeform area below the grid and let's just define a div ID equals rep1 slash div and then save that away and save our component and go back to uh, uh, Google Chrome and now when we press the button you can see there's the div that shows up underneath the page so let's go now and click on you know um, Yvonne Harrington and so there are no invoices for Yvonne Harrington so you can see that incorporating um, PDF reports into your applications is now extremely easy